going on you guys welcome to the channel jack here with classic genre today i'm going to be starting the bruce lee ab workout 22 day athlete challenge that i saw on youtube so along with that then i just got a juicer yesterday well oh, this is orange juice carrot juice and spinach juice right here so i kind of use this as like a pre-workout and then i've got one for after the workout this right here heavily inspired by dick gregory a little bit of unfortunate news that i got last month one of my best friends was diagnosed with skin cancer and for those of you all who don't know 2018 my father passed from prostate cancer so ever since uh my friend friday before last told me that he was diagnosed with skin cancer it kind of sent me down a rabbit hole of wait for this car to pass ever since my best friend told me that he was diagnosed with skin cancer i didn't want to be sad about it or look at all the negatives i wanted to look at the positives i knew that i had heard of dr sebi before um seeing his methods and some of his youtube videos and i knew that i wanted to go down a path of trying to heal not only myself first but my best friend um, with his skin cancer because my mom would always tell me after since my father's passed that you know you're at a high risk because your father had prostate cancer along with me being a young black male in America um, we have one of the highest rates for prostate cancer so she's been really in my head about making sure I stay getting checked up getting my health in order and prioritizing my health over eating junk food things of that sort so shout out to my mom because she's also been getting her health in order she's i think dropped around 30 pounds so far this year on her weight loss journey so together we've been helping push each other along with my other brother all three of us together um they've been going to the gym a lot more than me but I wanna say this is gonna be probably around day six or seven of me doing 100 push-ups, the 100 push-up challenge. I didn't start taking pictures to document until about Monday, so today is Friday. So today is the fifth day I'll be doing the official 100 push-ups. But today we're gonna to also be starting the Bruce Lee workout, like I said, get this in before that, and then we're gonna be doing the 100 push-ups a day minimum some days i've went a little bit over and then some days it's just been right at 100 but never less than so we're doing 100 push-ups a day and then we're doing the bruce lee ab workout so i'm gonna show y'all real quick what the body looks like without shirt on so you can see the resting and then a flex pose and then I'll do every day I'll show y'all the resting and then the pose uh, the you know what I'm saying flex pose so so like I guess this is resting right here um, this is day I want to say five of doing a hundred push-ups I've got around 40 in 40 to 50 in already earlier today but I'm um, gonna not even count those and start recording them on video so this will be a hundred that I'm doing today and then after that we're gonna do the Bruce Lee ab workout and show y'all step-by-step progress so like I said this is kind of relaxed look and then whenever I flex the flex the six-pack it ain't really there yet, but I had a gut probably about two weeks ago. So I've been working on getting that gut gone first and then we can start tightening. Cause there's nothing really here yet or here. If I got punched right there, I'd be critical. So gotta focus on getting this core area tightened up. One of the uh, things that I think he does was sides been so like I said I'm gonna be working on the abs doing the uh, dragon fly a lot of stuff but for that we're gonna go ahead and get this 
good orange juice, carrot juice, and spinach juice. We're gonna chug this real quick. Again, shout out to Dick Gregory, Dr. Sebi. I used to always, uh, before he passed, I used to always watch YouTube, the interviews of Dick Gregory. Huh? <laughs> but just the OG, he used to always have his little green smoothie uh, drink. And I used to always wonder what he would have in it. So I recently um, came across his book. I actually got the audio version of it, Dick Gregory's natural diet uh, for folks who love to eat. Cooking with mother, I'm doing five words. Cooking with mother nature. So I've been listening to that audio book. I got probably about an hour left, but soaking in all of that information, I know I'm gonna have to listen to it about a good two or three more times before I really get the full di dynamic of everything and I know it's one of those books that I'll be going back through it for a lifetime. So as long as I have it, I'll be doing that. Enough of me talking, though. I know y'all want to see me doing some work, getting to it, doing some of these push-ups, sit-ups, exercises. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> All right, so right now we're going to do our, we're going to do a set of about 30 push-ups. I might push it to 35. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. It's 35 push ups. All right, so we're going to do some standing elbow twists. So we have five of these. Thirty of those. Next, we got the frog kick. The short end lever arm make the exercise a little bit easier, and then you shoot them up in one motion up towards the sky. You get a little bit of a pelvic lift off of the ground to ensure that posterior pelvic rotation, lower ab activation. You come back down, you straighten the legs out. Again, that's sort of an isometric challenge for your lower abs. 
Mm -hmm. Come back in and keep going. So once again, the number here was 25 or still exhausted. Go to the next one here, and it's actually called the Four. single leg raise. And for this, you just got back into this recliner position. Right? And from here, you're just rising one leg up uh, to the straight and really trying to get that contraction in your abs. Again, this, I call this sort of mid range movement because you have both top down and bottom up activity going out at the same time. Though this top is actually staying relatively seven. Low. You really want to, as you did in the standing ab twist exercise, really drive and feel the contraction from the bottom Eight. up. Don't just lift your leg up to your head flexion. There's a difference, and you'll feel it. If you do that, you're just going to see the legs getting tired. If you do it the leg, you're just going to see the abs getting tired here. Ten. So 25, four till exhaustion. And then we move into the next exercise and sit up a little bit. the seated elbow to knee. And all you're doing here is now you're sort of getting more of the upper body involvement, right? So the last one was more stable. Now we're getting both the top and the bottom together in a oh. movement. And I'm just trying to balance and maintain my stability up top. But it's not that easy. You'll see you're going to want to fall backwards. Again, the obliques are going to take another hit here. But that's perfectly sufficient because you're able to continue to do it because you're not fully fatigued yet. Right? We move up the chain with the top down movement as you get more and more fatigued. Which brings us to the top down movement, which is the classic full sit up. Now, whether or not uh. you your feet under something or not, just be conscious of the fact that you don't anchor it under something and then start pulling with those hip flexors again. If anything, I like to anchor my feet beyond something so that when I pull back, I'm activating the hamstring, which will shut the hip flexors off a little bit and allow you to make sure that the abs are doing the work. Whatever it is, come all the way up to the top, lower yourself back down, keep that posterior tilt, keep that curvature uh, fine, so that you're not just flopping back after you get the middle of your back. And then, we'll leave this out, guys. The last exercise here is going to be the classic dragon fly. You might think to yourself, there's no way in hell that I can do that exercise. Well, guess what? All you gotta do is a minute of it. And I don't care how many seconds you can break off at a time, you have to accumulate one in before this workout's over. Now, if you're on more of the advanced side, you can do it with your legs out like I'm showing here. If you need a little bit of a break, remember we can shorten that lever arm, bring the knee in, and still try to get that floating effect. Up a little bit and down a little bit, up a little bit and down a little bit. Huh. After this, so give it all you got, and I promise you, you're in for a great ab workout. Uh, really helpful. Remember, leave your go to the next one here, and it's actually called the single leg raise. And for this, you just got back into this recliner position, right? And from here, you're just rising one leg up, keeping it straight, and really trying to get that contraction in your abs. Again, this, I call this sort of the mid range movement because you have both top down and bottom up activity going out at the same time, though this top is actually staying relatively stable. You really want to, as you did in the standing ab twist exercise, really drive and feel the contraction from the bottom up. Don't just lift your leg up with your hip flexor. There's a difference and you'll feel it. If you do that, you're just gonna feel your legs getting tired. If you do it the right way, you can feel your abs getting tired here. So do this for 25 or till exhaustion. And then we move into the next exercise. You sit up a little bit, and the elbow to the cup. And all you're doing one, here is now you're sort of getting much more of that two, upper body involvement, right? Three, the last one was more stable. Now we're getting both the top and the bottom working together in a classic mid range movement. And I'm just trying to battle to knee tuck. And all you're doing here is now you're sort of getting much more of that upper body involvement, right? So the last one was more stable. Now we're getting both the top and the bottom working together in a classic mid range movement. And I'm just trying to balance and maintain my stability up top because it's not that easy. You'll see you're going to want to fall backwards. Again, the obliques are going to take another hit here. But that's perfectly positioned because you're able to continue to do it because you're not fully fatigued. Uh, so you move up the chain to the top down movement as you get more and more fatigued. Which brings us to the top down movement, which is the classic full sit up. Now, whether or not you want to anchor your feet under something or not, just be conscious of the fact that you don't anchor it under something and then start pulling with those hip flexors again. If anything, I like to anchor my feet beyond something so that when I pull back, I'm activating the hamstring which will shut the hip flexors off a little bit and allow you to make sure that the abs are doing the work. Whatever it is, come all the way up to the top, lower yourself back down, keep that posterior tilt, keep that curvature of the spine so you're not just flopping back with too detrimental to your back. And then, we'll leave this out, guys. The last exercise here is going to be the classic dragon knot. Just be conscious of the fact that you don't anchor it under something and then start pulling with those hip flexors again. 
If anything, I like to anchor my feet beyond something so if I pull back, I'm activating the hamstring, which will shut the hip flexors off a little bit and allow you to make sure that the abs are doing the work. Whatever it is, go all the way up to the top, lower yourself back down, keep that posterior tilt, keep that curvature of the spine so you're not just flopping back, which can be detrimental to your back. And then, switching this out, guys, the last exercise here is going to be the classic dragonfly. You might think to yourself, there is no way in hell that I can do that exercise. Well, guess what? All you got to do is a minute of it. And I don't care how many seconds you can break off at a time, you have to accumulate one minute before this workout's over. Now, if you're on more the advanced side, you can do it with your legs out like I'm showing here. If you need a little bit of a break, 13. so we can shorten that lever arm, bring the knees in, and still try to get that flowing effect. Up a little bit, and down a little bit, up a little bit, and down a little bit. By doing this, guys, you're going to kind of put that final nail in the coffin. But so what? There's nothing left after this. So give it all you got, and I promise you, you're in for a great app workout. So guys, if you found the video helpful, remember, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover. I'll do my best to do that for you in future videos. If you're looking for programs where we build in systematic app training with a purpose and a progression, you can all of our workouts. You can get them over at AppNet.com. Meantime, guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and never miss a new video when I pull one out. All right, guys, good luck. See you soon. From the day I saw Sylvester Stallone do this in Rocky IV, I was hooked. I wanted to know how to do it. Of course, I couldn't do it until many years later because I had no ab strength at all. The idea here, though, is you need a lot more than ab strength. First of all, let's look at the hand position. How you grip the post or pillar or whatever you're holding on matters a lot. Think about it. If you were to grip on the sides of this, the force that you're directing is sideways in this way. You're not going to get as much strength or counterbalance to the forces of gravity pushing downward if you were to hold your hands underneath, as I'm showing you here. Now you're actually pushing up as gravity is trying to push you down, you've got a nice demand. So you might want to short the legs up a little bit and descend just a half of the body weight that you have by shortening those legs, bring your knees into your chest. As you get stronger, of course, you're going to be able to push your legs out further and have more weight than you have to be able to manage as your legs go down towards the ground. Now, big key point that nobody ever talks about here. They're thinking all about abs, 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 but what really is going on here is glutes, glutes, glutes. Because if I were to let my glutes relax, what's going to happen? I'm going to go into hip flexion, because one of the roles of the glutes is to extend the hip. So if I want to keep my hip extended, i.e. my legs straight out in front of me, i got to learn to see my glutes. It's going to help your ability to do this exercise immensely just by remembering to squeeze uh. as you're trying to essentially lower down to the ground. So you're going to do that as well. You can see how that one will fix right here. I mean, we can use what we call here a dragon thruster. And that's a great way that you can kind of prepare yourself yes, to become better in this exercise yes, by thrusting nothing. up and then having to lower the eccentric. But then again, yeah. shortening up and thrusting up and then lowering the eccentric. You can do these for reps a lot more easily. Again, you're working out a more dynamic way to control the <coughs> up and we're trying to get a six pack. It will happen, guys. You'll get the six pack at the same time, but your core will actually be strengthened the way it needs to be to be functionally strong to allow you to do a whole hell of a lot of other things here at the gym that just look good. <laughs> Five more push ups in. Got a class at 70, and then the last set will be 30. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 6 7 8 9 30 So we got 30 more right there That's 65 we got 35 more to do. And that's 100 for the day. Like I told y'all, the ab workout's over with, so this is kind of the post-workout meal. So I'm gonna pour this. Get about 15 more push-ups in, stand up, drink it, pour it, get 15 push-ups, stand up, drink it, get 15 more push-ups. We might have to do it in 10s though. Fresh breath, fresh air, it's good for me. supposed to get my 15 push-ups in before I did that. Twenty. Five more. We only got ten left. One. Two. 
three. Oh. Four. Get up, Jet. Get up. Ah. 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 Push ups left. Do some arm rotations. About 50 arm rotations. And we're gonna knock these last 10 out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Last 10, yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. Last 10. Last 10. Last 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Last one. Uh, ten. Uh, uh, we're gonna keep going. So let's lost you. Uh, oh man. So, we all done. Got a good sweat, good burn. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, we got some little bit better. Good sweat, good burn. Two bottles of this already. I think we're gonna kill. Shake this up. See what we got left. You know what I'm saying I don't like too much. Thank God for it. Thank you. For a little bit, we got a laugh. Like that's it. I'm gonna make some more juice. Thank you. I got that orange juice, carrot juice, spinach juice. This is what this was. That was dinner. The pulp from all three. I think I'm about to go in here and make some smoothies with some of that pulp and then some watermelon juice. Shout out to my brother. He just uh, stopped by uh, one of his peoples who grows and grabbed me five watermelons for $30 with the seeds in them. A lot of the ones that you get from the stores don't have the seeds. So that's definitely a major plug when you can find some with the seeds. But yeah, day one, Bruce Lee, 
ab challenge, complete. Let's see if y'all could get my Mike Raglan and Malcolm Jones on real quick. Get my uh, world's bodybuilder looking ass on somewhere. Nah, but for real. Shout out to them boys. But I don't want to be that big at all. They both the homies. But I like that nice, tight, everything lean and muscular. Want somebody, you know, that's a solid force right there. But I don't want to be out here cock diesel to the point where I'm trying to wipe my butt. I can't, you know, those type, they just so big that they can't. If you was to stick something in the back of their chest, they'd be like, <laughs> I ain't trying to be that big. I want to be able to have flexibility with it. If you can't do that, it's a problem. Somebody stick something in the middle of your chest right there and you can't get to it. So, day one in the books. Loosely ab challenge. Feeling good. Gonna be looking better soon. I don't know, kind of been doing these stretches right here just to balance everything out, proportion it. After I get done doing the push ups, just doing a lot of pushing here. So I want to kind of pull those muscles up into here. Get a nice, good. The rock, shout out Jay Z. Get a nice, good, even. I'm gonna throw that. So, like I said, it's about day. I could confidently say I'm seven days into doing 100 push ups a day. This is the first day um, that I've documented actually doing all the push-ups the previous days i've been taking pictures of you know what i'm saying the after i got done doing the push-ups but today i recorded it so from here on out y'all will get to see 100 days of push-ups 22 days i mean 30 days of 100 push-ups a day 22 days of bruce lee ab workout challenge so we're gonna see where we at 22 days and 30 days from now. I'm gonna end up doing the Bruce Lee thing the whole month, 30 days through. But just to go off the athlete challenge, we gonna keep up with day one and day 22. If you enjoy watching me work out, thank you. Uh, a little bit tired right now probably about to go back in here and do one last uh, set of push-ups, maybe about 20 to exhaustion, just to get that good last little burn, get some more stretches in. And then I'm gonna rest for the rest of the night, call it a night in a little bit, so I can get that good rest. Head to the gym with my Dukes and bruh in the morning, get some good juices. Like I said, I'm gonna go in here and make a smoothie with the pulp from the carrots, the spinach and the oranges and then I'm gonna throw some watermelon juice in there sweeten it up see what it tastes like and just to get that good fiber from the pulp from those vegetables and fruits so make sure you subscribe to the channel keep up with this journey and tell somebody to tell somebody to drink fresh fruit juice get your life in order this is my sign from you to me, from the universe. Get your life in order. And this, you didn't come across this video for no reason. It's for a reason. Uh, I did some soul searching over the past week and it led me to go down this path of getting my self, my health and wealth together. So your health is your wealth. 
always take that as a top priority and be grateful. See y'all in the next video.